ha not having seen every game you played this year, how good was the first half to be in the best half you guys have played? Uh, we'll have to watch it on tape. Um, but, but I thought we did. I thought we did a really good job of being locked in with, with what we were trying to do. Uh, we felt like uh, we had to give Garrison Matthews all kinds of attention. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job of limiting his um, effectiveness for, for most of the game. We, we got a little tentative and he got really aggressive late. But I thought for the majority of the game, you know, our guys were pretty locked into what we were trying to do there, uh, as well as on the post. Um, I think Lipsom's really good. Uh, I think we caught him on a. I thought we caught him on a night that was kind of in our favor. I'd like to think, you know, we had a little bit to do with that, uh, but certainly fortunate to win tonight. I understand you, you're about 70-30 man-to-man to zone. Uh, zone. I'd like to be more. I'd like to be closer to 100-0, but yeah, the zone in the first half. I thought it. How did that limit? Yeah, I thought I thought it kind of got him out of rhythm a little bit, and we were able to get a couple of runouts because of it. Um, you know, and our guys. I thought our guys did a pretty good job of, of playing. Uh, playing the game the right way for for most of the game, we, we did not, we didn't, we didn't play in stretches in the second half as well as we did in the first, and, and that's an area where we got to certainly grow. Now Lipscomb, there was going to be a run sometime, wasn't there? By those guys. I mean, they're too. Well, good I, 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 I hope not. You know, you'd like for that not to happen. I think, unfortunately, we're probably a little bit responsible for a lot of runs we give up because we get. We get stagnant, uh, we get inefficient on the offensive end, uh, which which hurts us, and, and, it, and it did tonight. Uh, you know, we had four out of five possessions there in the middle where we were we were empty. Okay, can you just kind of talk about Melte's development this season? Yeah, uh, you know, JD's done a nice job. Um, I think that the more and more uh, that he plays, the more that he you know understands um, being efficient, being strong with the ball, uh, playing off two feet. Uh, I think the the sky's the limit for him. We're certainly glad that that he's here, and I think he's going to have a really a really bright future over the next three plus years. Three games in Jacksonville to start the conference yep. season. Uh, now you got to go on the road. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, we were on the road on uh, you know we were we were on the road to start. We got two good ones here, and hopefully we can carry some of that momentum uh, next week on the road again. Right now, what do you like the best about this team in the last three games? You know, I think we're competing a little bit. Um, I think we're playing for longer spurts with with some with some energy and some toughness. Um, I think for a lot of times we're, we're playing unselfishly. We got to do a better job of that. Um, I think the biggest thing that, that I like about you know this team is I don't think we've I don't think we've cracked the surface of our of our potential. I think we can keep getting better. Uh, over the next few weeks, and, and that's certainly going to be uh, our focus and our goal. How important is it to get off to a good start? Yeah, it's like I told. Like I it certainly beats the alternative. Um, you know, and, and I think it helps uh, give you a little bit of juice, a little bit of a little bit of pop, and uh, and hopefully we can carry that into practice on Monday. Thanks, guys. Thank you, coach. Yep, Thank appreciate you. you.